There's been no shortage of news this week concerning January 6th. Last night on this broadcast, we discussed new reporting that the Justice Department has substantially widened its investigation to look beyond those who physically breached the Capitol that day to the broader effort to overturn the 2020 election. We know the committee's been looking into that, but now the Justice Department is. Well, tonight we've got some breaking news about the investigation into January 6th and the former president. CNN is reporting that the White House diarist, who's in charge of compiling presidential records, recently testified before the January 6th committee and said that the Trump White House started sharing less information about his activities in the days directly preceding the riot. Now, this is according to two sources with knowledge of the probe. I should note, NBC has not yet confirmed this reporting. And if you're wondering, what is a White House diarist? You're probably not alone. Every presidential administration has an official called a diarist, whose job is to keep a running list of the president's meetings, phone calls, and activities for posterity. The diarist works with top White House staff to create this record, which is compiled monthly. Now, CNN also reports that other witnesses have told the committee that there was significantly less information being shared with those involved in White House record keeping during the same time period, with one source telling CNN that, quote, White House record keepers appeared to be iced out in the days leading up to January 6th, end quote. Joining us now is the former United States attorney for the Eastern District of Michigan, Barbara McQuaid. Barbara, thanks for being here. We had a lot to talk about here, but I, I, I want to uh, just focus on this diarist for a second. These things are not just for posterity. They, there are requirements, particularly with the National Archives, about the type of record keeping that the White House is supposed to keep, which is why we're all worried about the, those several hours of phone calls that are missing. This is abnormal, to say the least. It's abnormal and it also violates the Presidential Records Act, Ali. Uh, there is law passed after Watergate for the very purpose of memorializing what the president does, where he goes, who he talks to, who comes to visit him at the White House. That is all a law. And so to fail to comply with that law is a violation. Now, here's the rub. There's no violation. There's no enforcement mechanism in the Presidential Records Act. I still think that doesn't mean that there is no consequence here. Uh, it could be if this was an effort to conceal crimes, there could be an obstruction of justice here. Or at the very least, this is the kind of evidence that prosecutors refer to as consciousness of guilt. That is, I'm hiding my tracks because I knew I'm doing something wrong, and I want to make sure that it is not known to others later. And, of course, one of the things you and I have discussed over the years is that there's a sort of a triangulation that prosecutors do, right? They get a piece of information here and a piece of information there. So this one becomes important, that something had changed, whether or not they were uh, abiding by the law and the requirements of the Presidential Records Act, something in the days uh, before January 6th, according to this reporting of this diarist who has testified, changed. Uh, you are a quick study, Ellie. Absolutely right. And so if you can show a pattern that for uh, the first uh, you know, three years and many days of his administration, the diarist was on the job, he was getting in consistent information, he had access, and suddenly in the days leading up to this insurrection at the White House, he gets squeezed out and frozen out. Is there something they didn't want him to see? And so we don't know the answer to that. The other possibility is dysfunction had taken over the White House as people were jumping ship in the waning days of an administration. But I think at least it raises some questions. Why was it that the diarist was not being given the same access that he had had for all of those years before in the Trump administration?